Hey Sag, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for stopping and watching. This is your uh, March uh, general reading. So let's see what energies are coming in for you guys, Sag, this month. What do we got? All right, we have fifth house, creativity. Wow, everybody's had this. I feel like everybody's had it. All right, so your fifth house deals with um, pleasure, uh, love affairs, um, creativity, of course, uh, fertility, your sex drive, romance, um, fun, even a little drama. So you could have any of those um, energies coming in for you guys uh, this month. But your creativity, on the other hand, uh, will be highlighted all right, so a lot of you could be working on your dreams, okay? Trying to follow, you know, that inner voice, that inner calling, guiding you and telling you, hey, Sag, you'll be good at this. Why don't you try that? You know, you'll be um, successful, you know, at, at this particular thing. So whatever it is that you are thinking of, dreaming of, inspired to do um, this month is going to uh, be highlighted, your creativity will be highlighted okay uh some of you when it comes to love okay if this is um something new something creative um transforming this month in your love life you could be uh, maybe starting a connection with you know a leo is possible here uh, pardon me one second i just want to take a peek at this card it's an interesting card I can't make out what that word says on there, but um, <laughs> I almost feel like it's just this weird, like, um, I don't know, like, it's, I get the energy of like, like a, not a circus, but like maybe a fun house or um, a carnival of some kind, like, I don't know, maybe just like a, a trip of the mind or, you know, almost like somebody taking shrooms or something and then all of a sudden you come up with like, these ideas crazy you know ideas but yet ones that will actually work something that may be crazy that you create but you know will sell or maybe a crazy story you could be you know writing a book or a movie um there's something here that just has this um adventurous um feeling to it all right like i, I don't know <laughs> it, it's hard to explain so i'm just going to stop <laughs> Because I'm struggling. All right, I'm struggling. So third house. The third house is communication, community. Um, people in your neighborhood, you know, even. So I do see, like, I don't know, maybe you're coming together. Maybe with another this month. Maybe someone's going to be sharing knowledge with you or sharing information with you. Or maybe this is a dream. Uh, Sag, maybe that's what I'm feeling here. Like maybe uh, some type of dream, because this this looks crazy. This car looks crazy to me. Like it looks like a fun house, a circus, or a crazy ass dream. So maybe there's something that you've dreamt of, okay? Or maybe the universe is giving you messages, you know, in your dreams. Communication, right? The third house is a house of communication. So you could be receiving messages from the divine, ideas from the divine. So pay close attention to, you know, your dreams or what you're feeling like, uh, or maybe like what you're being guided to do, right? That's that, that following your inner voice. Like there's something inside of you or um, there's something coming from the cosmos that's giving you some type of insight into some area, you know, of your life, okay? Mm-hmm. It's giving you ideas, willpower even, something here. I don't know what the heck this is. But it looks a little wild and crazy to me. All right, whatever this message is, it's communication. It doesn't have to be coming from the cosmos. It could be coming from other places. But I do feel like it's coming from, you know, your spiritual team, okay? Your your neighbors in space uh, uh, in some, in, to some extent. It says, as you focus on the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into the areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I definitely see growth here, okay? Eights are all about, you know, abundance and staying in gratitude too. So make sure that you're thankful for each and every um, epiphany, idea, 
thought that you get that is creative, okay? Because I feel like it's going to help you grow in some way. Like, it's going to help you materially. Like, you know, your material um, things are going to grow, right? So be open to receive right now. You know, be open and aware of your beliefs about money because I feel like something's heading in for you. It's these ideas. There's something that's going to grow, that's going to expand for you financially this month. Some type of idea, whatever you're thinking about, dreaming about, you know, it's ooh, got another eight. I am successful. Yeah, it's going to work. This vision is going to work. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. Definitely got some cosmic help here, okay? So whatever your vision is, whatever it is that you're, you're thinking about that, you know, warms your heart, whatever that you're passionate about, there's something here that you're committed to. And whatever this is, it's a means of you to express like who you are, your authentic self. Like this is something created by your hands or your mind, okay, for others because you're going to benefit from it or somebody's going to. But in the process of this, you're going to be able to express a creative side of you. So whether this is theater, or writing, poetry, I don't have no clue, but it's going to bring you some money. Okay, it's going to bring you prosperity and abundance, whatever this is, whatever messages you get, whatever ideas, whether this is, you know, uh, your, your spiritual team or a friend that says, hey, uh, Sag, let's start this. Whatever this is, is going to be abundant for you. There's abundance here. change too. Look, Queen of Cups. This is all about creativity. There's no one more creative than this this woman right here in her in her counterpart. You know, this is all about the mind, the mystery, emotions, okay? Your thoughts, your feelings. Things that are hidden, the unknown, the subconscious mind, okay? This is the energy that you're in, manifestation mode, like a motherfucker here. All right, the devil. This is you being, you know, I, don't, I mean, the devil is a lot of times when it shows up, my mind always goes to the bad parts, you know, the bad symbolism, you know, of the devil. But a lot of times the devil is good, particularly when you need to stay focused. You don't want to be obsessed, but you definitely want to keep, you know, your mind, you know, focused on what it is, you know, that you're doing. Okay. Um, If you've been feeling like you've been stuck, I feel that, you know, it, things are, are are starting to shift. Like there's something opening up for you. I, what was I thinking earlier? I'm sorry. Give me one second to reflect on something here. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. I just heard that. Could be a Gemini around you. Um in some way but i'm trying to figure out what this devil is is meaning for me you know as well strong capricorn energy but i felt that before i saw the devil card and i was trying to recall what i was thinking at the time but i didn't say it but um the devil represents you know the energy of capricorn okay it's the energy of feeling stuck like feeling like you don't have any options okay and even and even if this is where you were um, Sag, I really don't feel like this is where you're going. Even if this is where you are, this is where you, you know, this, you won't be here for long because you have all of this, this mystery coming in, like all of this support I feel from, you know, your higher self even. Oh, there it is. Ten of Pentacles. This is what, this is where you're going. There's something here that's going to bring you abundance, success, money, a lot of money. Or at least enough for you to feel comfortable and satisfied, okay? Um, enough money to where, you know, times will get a little easier, okay? Could it be something gifted to you? Whether this is an idea, something that you dream of, or somebody physically handing you a gift of money, there's something coming your way. So just know that. If you know nothing else from this reading, you're going to get a message, okay? That's going to allow you to change up some things in your life. It's going to allow you to be more abundant, more successful, for you to have more money, Okay, for you to be comfortable, for you to operate in this energy, okay? It's also probably enough for some of you to be in this devil energy too. So some of you may have a come up that's so large that, you know, you could lose your mind, start acting all stupid, right? You know, kind of getting into that devil energy, overindulging, you know, things of that nature, because that's what the devil will do. 
okay? It'll make you crave, you know, kinky things or um, you know, like the fifth house. The fifth house, you know, also speaks of like your sex drive, uh, things of that nature. So a lot of you, you know, could fall into, you know, this type of energy where you're overindulging in some things, okay? So just be mindful, all right? There could be even someone or something around you that may try to, to hem you up. So someone's offering you, you know, money. Somebody call you up and like, hey, you know, here's $20,000. All I need you to do is this. You know, if it's kind of operating in like, you know, kind of that lower level type of energies, I would probably just leave it alone. Yeah, see, look, the tower just flew out. To be honest, I didn't even want another card. All right. So you don't want to end up in this energy, but something's definitely changing. I do feel the change. All right, I do feel the change. The tower comes in and, you know, it's, I have mixed feelings like most of you do uh, with the tower, but a lot of the times it's for our best, right? When, I, when these situations come in, they come in to change something, but it's not always detrimental, right? It's not always something that's just the worst in the world. You know, oh my God, here comes a tower. My life is going to be destroyed. It's not like that at all. It's just the tower comes in, it comes in to just change, you know, some things, all right, to, to break down, you know, situations in your life or to reveal things to you or awaken you, you know, to all kinds of things. And, and you know what? It can also represent surprises with the tower. The tower doesn't always have to be bad. So I there is something coming in for you. And yes, it may take you by surprise and may give you more freedom, you know, and, and pleasure in life than what you've ever imagined, okay? So, you know, whatever this tower is, I personally feel like it's a good tower. I feel like it's something that's coming in to help you, to help you make some type of change, you know, to help you release something here, all right? Some uncertainties, you know, in some area of your life, all right? So I would be um, appreciative to see this devil, um, I mean, this tower showing up in, in my reading, if I were you, because it, it just has a, it has a positive feeling to me, all right, I feel like it's just something that's coming in that's going to just shock the shit out of you, whatever this communication is, whatever this, these messages are, all right, small steps, asking for help, and then we have material wealth, true prosperity, so this is what I'm saying, like, there's something that's communicating with you, whatever this is, you know, that's helping you, whether you've asked for it or not, it's here, all right? This, this, these small steps that are coming in is building you up to this Ten of Pentacles. It's building you up for the success and this abundance. After a time that I feel like has been, you know, pretty rough on you, at times where, you know, you've been stuck, not having what you need, all right? Whether this is support, monies, resources, doesn't really matter, but that's changing. You're moving out of that. You're moving into flow, Okay, in something here. And then it says material wealth, true prosperity. I told you, you know, this tower isn't a bad tower. This tower is something that's going to be good for you. It's going to set you up to be comfortable. You may not have, you know, everything you need. This is a tarot rating, right? So the Ten of Pentacles does represent, you know, a large sum of money, inheritance, and all of those things. So this could be a big come up for some of you. But for others of you, it could just be a means, you know, to move you forward. You know, this tower may come in and bring this money to help you get on your feet. You know, you may still have some work to do, okay? It may be coming in just to help you, you know, push on along, but nevertheless, it's bringing abundance. So that's all we really care about, okay? That's all we care about. This is positive help coming in, you know, from, from wherever. I don't care where it's coming from. As long as this is healthy, okay? Look, financial health. And then we have willpower here. So there's something... Some of you may have to refrain from. And it's probably, I, I can't think of like what word I'm trying to say, but you know how people get money and they start acting funny? And, you know, they start getting nasty and, um, you know, just all full of themselves and things like that. Like refrain from that. Okay, you have this card of willpower here. I wish I knew what a book was because I actually would read this because I feel like there's a message here that I just cannot get out. And it's driving me insane, Sag. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can find this. I just want to read it. I just need to read it. I feel like I should read it. Willpower. Here it is. It says your impulsive behavior invites temptation in and you cannot resist being enticed. All right. Now we know why the devil's here. The motto, life's too short, has attracted all sorts of attention as well as some naughty behavior. And in the past, you found that troubles have followed you. 
It's time to put that behind you now as you take responsibility and grow up. Instead of living into temptation, determine whether or not you're being laureled Lord, for your highest good. I do feel that. Like, remember I said, like, if somebody comes in and offers you something, like, don't, don't fall for that, right? This is what the book is saying. I ain't making this up. A test of strength or character is required to conquer a lazy attitude. Focus and willpower will help you from destruction, leading you to a resolution and a firmness of purpose. So that plays into this quite nicely, okay? So I do feel like, you know, maybe you guys have, you know, in the past, you know, had some bad dealings, whether, you know, you've done this or someone done this to you, whatever the case may be, but that's behind you. Okay. And I feel like the message for you here is don't fall back into that temptation. Okay. Don't fall back into, you know, the way things were. Don't let, you know, your financial come up here, you know, just distract you from, you know, your purpose because the universe is giving you a gift. You're being gifted, right? You're, you're asked for help. You're receiving it. So if you were in a jam, right, if you were bound or stuck somewhere or wherever it is that you were lured into, which led you into some type of financial catastrophe, you're being pulled out of that now because you've asked for help. Okay, there's there's manifestation here, all right? There's material wealth here, there's prosperity here. You're gonna get it, okay? The thing is, is just make sure when you get it, like you keep it, okay? Don't allow it to get, you know, don't let your thoughts, your actions, and your impulses get out of control. Don't overindulge. Like make sure your financial health stays healthy, okay? That's what it, um, I'm glad I read that because it kind of cleared that up for me because I was trying to figure out like where, you know, uh, Spirit was trying to to lead this. And I was personally having uh, issues articulating, <laughs> articulating it, okay? But now we got the clarification. So let's um, move on and see what else we have for you guys, okay? Sag, don't be tempted, all right? Don't be tempted. We got prosperity coming in. Don't mess it up. All right, we got time for truth. We have time for change and transformation here. Things are opening up. You're beginning to see where it is that you're going, where your future lies, how much power you have, Sag. It's all being revealed to you. Don't mess it up, okay? And you have the time is now. So if something's being re, redone, regifted, revisited, um, it's almost like the universe uh, decided, okay, you know, whatever happened, you know, five years ago, a year ago, whatever had transpired financially for you, um, I feel like, you know, it's they, that's being reversed. It's almost like karma is, is working in your benefit now, okay? Just watch out. Watch out for temptations. That's the, the biggest message I think is here is watch out, you know, for temptations because I see them here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see what else we have for you guys. I think this is the last set here. You know, your reading has it has like a very odd energy. I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but I'm feeling it. All right. Ooh, we got the sun. It's an odd energy. Very odd. Got Leo. Got the sun. This is luck. Got luck got prosperity coming in you gotta you got <laughs> it's almost like a whole renewal is what i'm feeling right a whole renewal the sun is telling you that you have luck you have fortune you have fulfillment you have prosperity on your side there's something that you've achieved here because i feel like you've released you know your past you've let go of trying to control certain aspects of situations in your life. It's almost like if you know how you want money or you want something so bad, you know, you think about it all day, but you're not thinking about it in a way to where you're dreaming it or you're manifesting it. You're thinking about it in a worrisome way, right? But I feel like a lot of you have kind of let that go because the page, you know, of cups comes in, you know, almost like as a novice, you know, he, he's just following his heart, right? He's just you know, trying to stay focused on love, trying to stay focused on light so that they don't have to operate in this Ten of Swords energy. Because the Ten of Swords is just, you know, it's just things just, you know, it's just it's the opposite, you know, of good luck. You know, it's, the Ten of Swords is considered like bad luck, you know, misfortune, 
uh, things of that nature, you know, crises, you know, pain, desolation, all of that, you know, that's what the, that's what it brings. And that's not what you want. You don't want to go back to rock bottom again. So when this come up comes in, when all of this abundance comes in, the universe is just saying, hey, use it wisely. You know, don't mess this up because you may not get this chance again, at least no time soon. You know, life works in cycles. I don't know how old you guys are or we're all different ages and things of that nature. But, you know, cycles can last five, seven, ten years. So right now you're going through some type of change. You're going through some type of transformation here. There's something that's resetting and recycling for you. There's something in the past where some of you may have screwed up or made some bad decisions or choices, but that's over now. So whatever it is that you're trying to build, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. You're going to get back on your feet. Everything's going to be stable. You're going to be just fine, but you got to maintain it, okay? sad so make sure you don't you know get sidetracked okay don't get derailed so that you don't end up back where you were before okay in this tower energy you don't want to be back there this tower coming in for you now is good luck good fortune a reset for you okay so make sure that you keep you know your stuff in alignment okay guys so this is your reading i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next video